Welcome back. I covered the sequence comparison in my previous video. A sequence match can take one of two forms. Matching of exact and inexact sequences. Exact matching occurs when the sequences match not only in terms of nucleotide or amino acid sequence, but also in terms of the order. In some circumstances, the sequences, however, are not in the same order, and you must account for the variations. Inexact matching can be used to achieve this. Site pattern is one technique for discovering imperfect matches. Aligning sequences in pairs is an alternative technique. The MAP kinase per site pattern is shown here. The protein known as MAP kinase is crucial. Both mitosis and apoptosis are caused by the phosphorylation of numerous proteins. A hyphen divides the pattern's elements. Each letter stands for an amino acid. X could be any amino acid. The numbers in brackets indicate how long an amino acid residue repeats. The range of the variation is displayed in the bracket if the length is variable. This approach compares just two sequences side by side to identify similarities and differences. The two sequences overlap and seek comparison. Take a look at the few terms used in the comparison before delving into the specifics of the pairwise sequence alignment. The first one has a match in it. A nucleotide or amino acid sequence is referred to as a conserved sequence if both sequences are identical. The second is a mismatch. A mismatch occurs when the sequences in any one of the columns differ. It is referred to as substitution in biology. The gap is the next one. A lot depends on the gap. A nucleotide may occasionally be added to or removed from the sequence during the course of evolution. Then, if one nucleotide is absent from or is added to one sequence compared to another sequence, a gap is inserted. A pairwise sequence alignment can be of two different types. One of them is local, while the other is global. By introducing gaps, global alignment increases the number of sequence matches along the entire length of two sequences. It is used to identify conserved sequences. By excluding less similar regions, local alignment identifies the area of the sequences with the greatest degree of similarity. It is used to identify distant homology and discover related domains and motifs. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos and click the bell icon for the most recent ones.